In this video, we're going to look at column vectors. A vector is something with a direction and a magnitude or size. And a column vector is one of the ways of representing these. The number on the top represents how far to the right or to the left. Um, if it's positive, to the right. If it's negative, to the left. The number beneath represents up or down. So if it's positive, upwards. And if it's uh, negative, downwards. You may have encountered them in... Um, a topic called translations also. So for instance, if they said translate shape A by the vector three one, you'd move it three squares to the right and one square upwards. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna represent these um, visually, okay? Uh, we're just gonna draw it, okay? So this vector is three one, which means three to the right and one up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna choose any starting position and I'm gonna go three to the right and one up and then that would be that vector. I'm just going to draw an arrow on it just to show we're going this way, okay? We're going three to the right and one up and we're not going three to the left and one down. And that's it. So I'm just gonna represent these column vectors visually just for the moment. Okay, here's another column vector. This column vector is minus four, two, which means four squares to the left and two squares up. So if I wanted to represent that um, visually, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go four squares to the left, one, two, three, four, and two squares up. And again, I'm just gonna make sure I put my arrow on it like so, just to show that I'm going to the left and up. Next one, one to the left, or the, ve the column vector is minus one, minus three. So it's gonna be one to the left and three down. So again, just choose a starting position. Because I'm gonna go three down, I'm gonna choose a starting position over here somewhere. And it's one to the left and three down. One, two, three and again just put an arrow on it just to show we're going uh, this way to the left and down and finally uh, we've got the column vector zero minus two that would mean zero squares to the left or right and two squares down so it's just going to be straight down two squares uh, so if I choose starting position go down two and again just represent it with the little arrow Okay, so that's how to represent column vectors uh, graphically or visually. Now what I'm going to do is I'm now going to do some addition or subtraction using column vectors. So um, here we've got the vector A. Now as you can see the A is in bold. Uh, whenever I'm writing these on the page usually I would do an A and underline it. Uh, but whenever they're written in a textbook or on a computer or in an exam, sometimes they just sort of have it printed in bold. It's a bit hard to write in bold, so that's why I would write and underline it. Okay, um, but we've got the vector A, which is one, two. That means one square to the right and two squares up. And we've got the vector B, which is two minus one, which is two squares to the right and one square down. We've been asked to add A and B together. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw A and then I'm gonna draw B. So A is one square to the right and two squares up. So that's the vector A. I'm just going to put an arrow on it and I'm just gonna write A beside it. Now B is two squares to the right and one square down. So where I finished off with A, which was here, I'm gonna go two squares to the right and one square down. And again, I'm just gonna put an arrow on it and call that B. Now, as you can see, I've gone two squares, uh, one square to the right and two up, and two squares to the right and one down. And overall, I've finished here. Now, if I was to do that one, uh, one journey, I could just go straight from my starting point to the finishing point here. And altogether, that would be three squares to the right and one square up. So that would be the vector, if I'm going three to the right and one up, that would be the vector three, one. And so I'm just gonna bring them up here and I'm gonna add them together. Uh, one plus two is three and two plus minus one. Remember when you add minus one, it goes back down. So two plus minus one would be one. And as you can see, that's the same as the journey, just going from the starting point to the finishing point, three to the right and one up. So to add column vectors, all you do is add the top numbers and add the bottom numbers and that's it. Okay, so let's have a look at some questions. So we're gonna do these without drawn diagrams. So we've got the vector A, which is six, one. And we've got the vector b, which is minus four five. So if I was if I was asked to find the vector a plus b, that's what I'd get if I added them together. So six plus minus four. Well, six plus minus four would be the same as six take away four. Well, that's going to be two. And then one plus five. One plus five is six. So if I was to go six squares to the right and one square up, and then four squares to the left and five squares up, altogether that'd be two squares to the right and six squares up. Um, 
And that's it. And that's how you do it. You just add them together. Okay, this time we're going to multiply a vector by a scalar. A scalar is just a number. Okay, so I'm just going to multiply or double the vector a. So the vector a is 6, 1. Well, if, instead of going 6 to the right and 1 up, if I was to double that, that would be 12 to the right and 2 up. So if you've got a number in front of a vector, you just multiply the numbers by whatever numbers in front of the letter. So because it was a 2, I double both of these numbers. If it was a 3, I would multiply them both by 3 and so on. Okay, our next question. Our next question, we've been asked to find 3a plus 2b. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to write down what 3a is, and I'm also going to write down what 2b is, and then I'm going to add them together afterwards. I do like to show my work out whenever I'm in an exam. It just it also just helps me work it out. So 3a. Well, 3 times a would be 18 and 3. 2b, well, doubling this would be minus 8 and 10. And then adding them together, well, 18 plus minus 8. Well, 18 plus minus 8 is going to be 10, because remember when you add a negative number, it goes down, so it's going to go down by 8. And then I'm going to do 3 add 10, and 3 add 10 is 13. So 3a plus 2b would be 10, 13. Next, now we're going to do subtractions. Um, whenever you're taking them away, again, you just take them away. Um, it's just important to remember which one you know, you're starting with. So it's a minus b. That will be a different answer to b take away a. Okay, so b minus, or a minus b. So a minus b, so that's 6 minus minus 4. Well, that's going to be 10, because you're subtracting a negative. And 1 minus 5. And 1 minus 5 would be minus 4. Next. B minus A, well B take away A. So you've got minus 4 take away 6, that's minus 10. And then we've got 5 take away 1, and 5 take away 1 is 4. And lastly, we've got minus 5B. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be multiplying B by minus 5. So the vector B is minus 4, 5. We're timesing the both by minus 5. So minus 4 times minus 5 is 20. And 5 times minus 5 is minus 25. And that's it. Let's have a look at one last example. So this time we've got a is the vector minus 1, 0, and b is the vector minus 4, 9. And we've been asked to find 2a minus 4b. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out what 2a is, and we're going to work out what 4b is, and then what I'm going to do is take them away from each other. So 2a. 2a is going to be double this, so it's going to be minus 2, 0. And 4b, timesing these both by 4, will be minus 16, 36. Um, because 4 times those numbers are, are 4 times minus 4 is minus 16, and 4 times 9 is 36. Now, what we've been asked to do is to do 2a, take away 4b. So it's going to be 2a, so it's going to be minus 2, minus, minus 16. Well, minus 2, minus, minus 16, well, that means you're going to add 16 on, so that'll be 14. And then 0 take away 36, and 0 take away 36 will be minus 36. And that's it.